Why is being vegan so important? Oh, good question. Since you asked, let me go ahead and tell you. Not only is it something that is affecting and affecting your health and wellness on a daily basis. I mean, just look at the numbers and the statistics in the world. They're increasing every day, every year. We have more and more people that are getting sick, more and more guesstimations and estimations that, hey, this is how many will be suffering from X amount of diseases and sicknesses in the world. Well, that's one reason. Not only that, two, have you looked around the world right now? Climate change is on a rise. We are at our tipping point. This is not due to not saving plastic and continuing to litter it all over the planet. This is not because of too many cars driving on the streets and flying in the air as far as the planes. No, 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 no. There's one thing and one thing only that is causing a lot of what we're experiencing right now when it comes to climate change. And that has to do with animal agriculture. What is animal agriculture? Well, it's the raising and growing of farm animals in the world, in the run world. This is another reason why deforestation is on the rise because we need more space in order to grow and care for more animals that we are trying to slaughter and kill and feed you guys. Well, hmm, is it really that serious? Is it really that serious? No, it's really not that serious, guys. Yes, no, it is that serious, guys. This is why we're at our tipping point because the amount of methane that is released through the animals and the um, water that is being funded and placed into these animals is what is causing us to have so many issues. Not only that, well, what else? The, the runoff. Have you not seen ocean acidification? That is happening because of the release of the methane from the sky because it's releasing carbon into the atmosphere, which causes a rise in, you guessed it, global warming, which climate change. They are all going together. You see how this all has a connection? Not only that, as I mentioned, your health and wellness it is a leading cause to many of the sicknesses and disease in the world. I mean, really? Really? Think about it. If you're gonna get sick, it's not because you were just bound to get sick. It wasn't about to just, to just happen to you. It's because of what we consume and we're eating on a regular basis. It's actually eating you. So understand that, understand that, overstand that. Okay, guys? And when you think about it, most of these animals, if you didn't know, when they are being cared for and raised in these farms that they like to call, well, guess what? Most of them are sitting in their own feces and they're contaminated and filled with diseases. They're getting pumped with antibiotics, hormones, steroids, just to name some things there for you. But all of these things are toxic and full of harmful chemicals, which, well, you guessed it, leads to being in our bodies once we end up consuming them, especially if we're doing it on a regular basis. Understand that, understand that, and overstand that. And so, you gotta think about it. Well, why is it so important? Why is vegan going, going vegan so important? Well, because when you're eating a plant-based diet, live foods, living foods, straight from the natural sources that are provided to us and around us on a daily basis, versus them being destroyed, cut down, or not grown at all and having lack of access to them. Well, when we do actually consume them and eat them, guess what? You're living a healthy, thriving life, full of longevity. I mean, what can you get from life? Life, you are living beings, spiritual beings, energy beings. And so therefore, the food you eat should be energy. And so, there you have it. Why is going vegan so important? Well, not only that, most of the Plants, foods, medicine, our food is our medicine, and we get medicine from the foods that we eat because they're not just foods, guys. This is what is keeping our bodies in healthy, vibrant states. And if we want to maintain that, well, we have to eat things that are filled with nutritional value and have the necessary vitamins, minerals, and uh, phytonutrients and things that we need to, guess what? Last longer in this world for vitality and, you know, Longevity, if that's important to you, you know, I'm just saying, why is vegan so important? Well, I just told you. And so if you don't think that your health is wellness, well, your health is well. Yeah, it is. And it's the main thing that we should all be focused on at this point in time because, hmm, well, like I said, not only is it affecting the health and wellness of many of the individuals in the world, all over the world, it's also affecting climate change, which we turn on our TVs. If you watch TV, I don't watch TV because it's just television. 
but some things are very accurate and it's the amount of world disasters that are going on around the world whether it's floods droughts tornadoes heat extremes extreme cold you name it hurricanes all these things wildfires have an impact and they're all due to well hmm, you guessed it climate change and the lack of our environment having the necessary things they need to thrive and that has to do with deforestation or like I said just a lack of accessibility to healthy natural things and sources so yes climate vegan is so important for many things and last but not least if you're someone who truly cares for animals and not just the ones in the zoo free animals not domesticated ones I mean you have a dog right you have a cat right you have a bird or any of that well I'm just gonna say if you have an animal you should care for all animals and even if you don't have animals I mean don't you care about life or do we not care so yeah again going vegan it has many benefits and there's many reasons for it and everyone has a different reason for it whether it's because they want to live healthier and more vibrantly or because they are just tired of the lies that are told to us on a daily basis or I mean because we want a sustainable planet that is still here and able to last for not just ourselves because once we're gone what are we leaving behind disaster or are we gonna leave behind an abundant world that is sustainable for future generations and like I said not only that if you're an animal lover then you understand and overstand. Peace.